Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Rolex and today I have a Call of Duty Mobile video for all of you. Uh, this one will be talking about my settings. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking on stream, on my social medias, on my Discord server, pretty much everywhere. Hey Rolex, what are your settings? What are your sensitivities? And so for this video, I'll be going through my settings and uh, going through each and every little detail uh, regarding what I have and what you guys should have. So let's go ahead and hop on in real quick. Also, comment down below in the video how much you guys are loving the game. I personally am addicted. I've been playing uh, almost every hour of the day on the weekends. This past week I was very busy with school and so I'm pretty sure you guys know that I missed a few streams throughout the week. But uh, you know when I have time, I'm playing because I'm addicted. It's, it's I, I, I just, I was a huge fan back then of Call of Duty on console. And so now that it's on mobile and I'm a mobile player, I'm just very happy and very excited and I can't wait for what is to come. Honestly, zombie mode is also coming. So I'm very excited for that. I used to play that like six hours in one session it was insane so for the first one this is the control layout uh we have simple mode and advanced mode if i were you i would do advanced mode it's just trust me simple mode is just something that you can't really do customize as much advanced mode is the way to go so that's the first thing you should do and uh shooting mode one tap ads hip fire or custom i would do custom and the reason for that being is that um sometimes whenever so i'm pretty sure the majority of you guys whenever you guys first started playing the game, you guys had the setting where if you guys would, would uh, shoot the button, it would automatically ADS to an enemy. And so you obviously want to take that off, but sometimes you want to hit fire if there's a person uh, in close quarters. And so to do that, you go to this little icon right here on the right where it says custom and have all of these to hit. Uh, the assault rifles on hip, SMG, shotguns, LMG, sniper rifles is actually uh, ADS and I'll explain to you why. And pistols should be hip. So this will be so that if, if you press the shoot button, it won't automatically just ADS. You have to press ADS first, and then you have to shoot if you want to uh, ADS when shooting for the ones that have hip. For the ones that have ADS, all you have to do is press the shoot button, and it'll ADS automatically. And that's why you have it for sniper rifles. That's why I have it for sniper rifles. I think that the majority of competitive players, as well as you know other content creators who are really good at the game, uh, also have this and the reason being is that it's easier for, for quick scoping so let's say for example if you want a quick scope or if you just want to you know just have fast reflexes when sniping and all that and uh obviously you know there's there's different modes or ways for you to play when you're sniping right you can have the typical sniping where it's just you're at the very edge of the map and you're just hard scoping adsing everywhere and when you see someone you take them out or you go in gun blazing hot Kill everyone. No, I'm just kidding. No, but pretty much uh, sniping in, in in this game is really, really, really fun. Um, and so if I were you, I would have it to ADS. So that way, in case you want to do some clips, some close quarter combats, and you're going, you know, shooting left and then shooting right, and then the guy spawns behind you, you want to take him out as well. ADS is the way to go because the way you do it is you only have to press one button. So you press the fire button, you hold it, he ADSs, and when you want to shoot, you let go. And if you have it on hip fire, you have to press the scope button. And then you also have to press the ADS, or the uh, shoot button, excuse me. And uh, the, I mean, obviously, you can have it on hip if you want, but me personally, I have an ADS, just easier for me. And uh, it also depends on how many fingers you use, right? So, for example, if we go to my controls, I personally use three finger paw. Uh, that's when you use your two thumbs and an index finger, whether it's your left hand or your right hand, doesn't matter. And so, obviously, you can see here that I have it on the left for the index finger. So, I press crouch for with my left index and then was shooting and jumping and adsing with my right thumb and with my left thumb obviously i move with the uh with the joystick um so it all depends i guess on what you use if you use four finger claw which is your two thumbs and your two index fingers on the screen you obviously have that extra finger and so if you want you can have it a hip me personally i have an ads you should too but anyways br mode pretty much the same thing um same control layout uh it sucks that you have to like have two controls it's kind of like in pubg mobile whenever they had the whole uh fep control layout and tvp control layout i don't know why they're separate just have them both dude but whatever basics all right let's go ahead and scroll up real quick so i have aim assist on uh if i were you i would have aim assist i personally have aim assist um it just helps out you know and helps you hit those shots for whenever you barely start playing the game Obviously, not everyone's going to be, you know, straight laser beam uh, on your first game, so. Quick one from prone. I have it on because uh, sometimes whenever you're prone and you want to get up, most of the times it's because you want to move. And so if you have 
quick one from prone then uh as soon as you're as you stand up you can start running right away and so that can help you out in situations maybe there's a guy in front of you and you just want to get up and go for some cover um fix our fire btn have it on fast throw grenade i have it off because sometimes you want to cook it and uh you know not, not, not all the time you just want to toss the grenade right away uh sometimes you want to play strategically and cook it until you throw it and then as soon as it impacts the ground or in the air it'll blow up and it'll get you a kill joystick auto sprint so this is for whenever um so pre pretty much this is an option where if you have your joystick and you push up on it there's gonna be a little icon right there uh a running man and that is so that you can auto sprint if you pull up that far enough and you let go and i have that on because i don't want to be holding my left thumb and the joystick the entire time while i'm running sometimes in the beginning of the game i just want to run and so you just pull up into that icon let go and it'll start running fixed joystick i have it off um this is simply because sometimes you know no matter how much you play mobile games sometimes you can misclick the buttons especially me right i play pubg mobile and call of duty mobile and so obviously the layout's not to the exact like you know millimeter um and so fixed joystick means that your joystick will not move at all and so you have to press on the joystick in order for you to uh, to move left or right, or up or you know forward or backwards. And so if I have it off, then that means that if if I'm close enough to the joystick, let's say I'm I'm a little bit higher up than where it's actually at, it'll still register a touch, and then that way you can actually move around and you know, like for, for example, if I go to my control layout, the joystick you can't really see it. Let me go and turn the opacity up. So the joystick's right there. So um, Let's say, for example, if I click a little bit to the left, it'll still register it because it's it's like right on. It, it's it's in that perimeter, right, of the button. And so if you have it fixed joystick, that means that you cannot have that flexibility. You have to be on the button. And so I have it off. Um, you should too. ADS, I have it tapped to ADS. Display left fire button, I have it on. Me personally, I just want to have the two fire buttons, right? Like if, if you have one, a second one wouldn't hurt. Slide, I have a uh, hold crouch while sprinting. And this is the reason why. Uh, let's say sometimes I'm sprinting and I want to crouch instead of slide. Um, I just want to tap the button, right? But if, so if you have it to tap crouch while sprinting, you're not able to go from sprint to crouch. You you will automatically go from sprinting to sliding. And so sometimes I don't want to slide. Sometimes I'm I'm rushing and stuff, and I see a guy in front of me. And so in my control layout, I have the crouch button on the top left. Uh, with my index and so i use that a lot in gunfight for example let's say that if, if it's a really good player the majority of good players when they're in close quarter combats they try to aim for the head uh, that's usually just because you'll win the gunfight if you hit the, if you hit your shots and so if you crouch obviously he's not gonna hit me at all and so that gives me the advantage of winning the gunfight so i have hold crouch while sprinting if you personally don't crouch as often um while sprinting like me then you if you want you can have it tap crouch while sprinting but i have it hold crouch and if i want to slide i just hold down on the crouch button and i'll try the sliding so. always sprint uh, i have it off sensitivity i have it at 65 percent um gyroscope i have it on and here's why i personally am a mobile player i play on a phone um the majority of content creators and you know competitive players uh, play on ipad that was the same thing that happened in PUBG Mobile at the very beginning. People would say iPad's the superior device. Here's why. Um, well, obviously, you can see things five times bigger, right? Or six times bigger. I don't know exactly what the ratio would be. But if you have an iPad Pro compared to an iPhone 10, which is what I have, the, the screen size is five times, six times bigger. So that means that everything is five times, six times, including the enemy, including your gun, including how, you know, if, 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 if an enemy is 100 meters away from you, you will see the enemy five times bigger. On your iPad so no I mean obviously that's that has an advantage uh, but PUBG Mobile if you guys aren't aware PUBG Mobile banned iPads and the tournaments simply because it was just too it was just too OP uh, that's why uh, that's why the majority of content creators use iPad because they're OP and they're you know trying to create content and competitive players or professional players uh, will probably use phone called mobile I've heard that they will have controller support uh, coming soon and people are saying that COD Mobile might have it to where iPads, controllers, and phones are allowed. Me personally, I don't believe that. I think that it'll come down to mobile phones. So, um, anyways, 
as I was talking about that, uh, gyroscope. The majority of iPad players do not use gyroscope um, because they don't want to, you know, they don't need to. They have all that room to control recoil, to move around and stuff, and us phone players don't. And so gyroscope is a huge, huge thing. If I were you, uh, if you play three finger paw the way I do with three fingers, I would use on. So I would have it on. Um, obviously, if you have it while ADS, that's also on, but I'm talking about uh, always on is what they call it, or full gyroscope, that's what they call it. And so full gyroscope is pretty much, even if you're not ADSing, your gyroscope will control your uh, your player still. So so, you, so let's say for example, if I'm not ADSing, I'm running and I'm moving like this, my, my, my player, my camera will move up and down like that. That is because in close quarter combat, sometimes, um, you know, you have like the enemies to your right or something, and you have to react fast. Full gyroscope, even if you're not ADSing, you can tilt and you will be able to uh, to move your character to the right. Now, if you're using four finger claw or more fingers than that, sometimes people use five, six, I've seen it myself. Me personally, I would have it on while ADS. Um, you don't need it on full gyro. While ADS is more than enough. This is pretty, this is pretty much to control your recoil. So let's say, for example, when, you, when you're ADSing, when you're aiming down sights and you start shooting, gyroscope, you're able to control the recoil by pointing down. So, Gyroscope is pretty much an extra finger, so to, so to speak. So on iPad, so with iPad players, they don't use gyroscope, but what they do is they use a finger to control recoil, so they so they tilt down. Here, for people who don't have iPads and are using either two, either thumbs, three finger paw or claw, uh, they use gyroscope, and that's pretty much the extra finger, so that you can, you know, control the recoil while also moving left and right and stuff, and not having to use that finger to swipe down on the screen. Um, so if you use four finger claw, I would use while ADS. Uh, if you use thumbs or paw, three finger uh, claw, that's what they call it, then I would have it fully on. Um, that is just gonna help you with, you know, obviously controlling recoil and close quarter combat. Let's say for example, if someone's near you, you can just tilt the phone and start shooting. Um, inver horizontal and inver vertical, I have those off, it's just confusing. like. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why people would use that, but you know, if you want to look down, most of the people, most of the times you look down, right? But maybe it's, maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they just like things opposite. I don't know. Camera FOV. Uh, so this is pretty much um, the range for your character, uh, your perspective. So if you have it all the way to 75, then that means that your character will be fully zoomed in as much as possible whenever you're playing the game. So let's say, for example, if you have a small phone, um, then it would be in your best interest to probably have it a little bit higher. Um, or if you have an iPad, for example, you can have it at 51 because you can already, you know, you can already see everything. Me personally, I like to have it around 60 just so I can have, you know, the best of both worlds. Uh, but that's just me personally. Weapon aim, reset weapon aim, I have it off. And BR mode, I have pretty much everything turned on. Auto loot, auto open doors, fixed R, fire, BTN, aim assist, quick run from prone, joystick auto sprint, and fixed joystick again turned off because I want to have that extra room um, where I can misclick maybe by like a centimeter and it'll still register at the touch. ADS, tap to ADS, pretty much the same thing as MP mode. Display left fire by an on, slide, hold, crouch while sprinting, always sprint, 65, gyroscope on. Uh, camera FOV 60 and yeah, pretty much the same thing as MP mode, so which is multiplayer. Now the audio and graphics. So first we'll go to audio. So I don't know about you guys, but at the very beginning when I first started playing the game, the the, the audio was super loud for me. Um, the music was in, immensely, like incredibly loud. Uh, UI volume as well, like it's just it was loud in general, and so I turned down the majority of uh of things music i have it around three just because i don't want it to be silent like right now you know I'm just, I'm just i'm just talking and you guys can just hear my voice and it's just a little bit awkward you know i don't know i don't know i just like to have you know a little bit of music up i play some music in the background but um the master volume i have it around 80 ui volume 5 sfx volume 50 music volume 3 voice chat 49 and microphone 53 graphics very important part of this video so listen pay attention carefully all right Pay attention carefully. Just do as I say, and you'll be good. All right? Anyways, I have mine to low and max. Now, the reason being is because you want to have 
every little bit of performance for your phone while you're playing the game, right? You don't want to have any, you know, stutters or lags or let's say you're, you know, desyncs, none of that. You want no frame drops. You want to have your graphic quality at low. Um, again, right here it says, reduce to improve performance, prevent overheating or conserve power. So if you have an, an old phone, an old device, which, you know, not everyone has a thousand dollars to spend every year or a thousand two hundred, whatever, I, you know, phones cost nowadays. Um, especially iPhones, jeez, Apple. Uh, you know, if you have a an older device, it's not that great. Have your graphic quality on low, right? And your frame rate, have it at max. Uh, you want to have every single frame. You want to have every single advantage when it comes to gunfights and when it comes to you playing against other players. Uh, now, let's say for example that you know you have you have a one plus seven T, baby. You know, what if you have a one plus seven T? And you're like, you know what? I ain't worried about the performance. Then you can turn it up medium, high, or very high. Now, as you can see, when you went from low, medium, high, or very high, some other options came up. And so, depth of field, bloom, real time shadow, ragdoll, and anti uh, aliasing. Those options came up. Again, this is only if your phone can handle it. Uh, but even then, even if your phone would hand, would be able to handle that, I'll just have it on low, right? But if you want to, um, you know, you can have these on, make it look very nice, and you can also change the uh, BR mode graphic style to realistic, dynamic, or standard. Me personally, though, I have it on low. Trust me, the majority of you know pro players and competitive players, people who play this game competitively, have low and max, and that is simply because they want to have every single advantage. They want the phone to perform at its best. And uh, and have you know and, and win depth of field I have it turned on me personally and adjust screen I would have it to auto adjust just don't mess with that no need sensitivities I will actually have another video on this so if you haven't done so subscribe to the channel and I'll probably be uploading this uh, tomorrow so sensitivities we'll skip over that br settings br settings um you know if you want. I, all depends on again your preference, but uh, I have layout A. It's just easier for me to control um, vehicles and stuff while I'm driving. And vehicle camera, I have it at semi follow. Uh, the loot setting, I have I, I haven't messed with this, but I think this is the standard the standard stuff. So uh, reflex holographic sight four times tactical scope tactical scope and three times I have them all at one medicine. Uh, Hemostatic, I have it at 10. First aid kit, I have it at 6. Adrenaline, I have it at 5. Lethal and tactical for the grenades, I have it at 4. Smoke grenade, 6. Concussion, 0. Nova gas, 1. Flashbang, 1. Cluster grenade, 0. And serial bomb, 0. So those are my settings. Uh, I haven't been playing much BR uh, on Call of Duty Mobile just because Call of Duty Mobile is mainly known for, you know, that multiplayer, you know, PvP, one team versus one team experience. And so that's just me. Quick message. I'm going in. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. Obviously, the language I have English and other. Uh, there's nothing else. So those are my settings. Um, again, probably the most important one would obviously be your control layout. You know, have whatever control layout fits you. And um, graphics. Again, low to max. Trust me, you're going to want to do it. Yeah, it looks nice and high. Yeah, it looks nice and very high. But even then, as you can see, when you have it to very high, your frame rate can't even handle max. Your frame rate will automatically go down to very high. So, low and max is the way to go, trust me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, if you guys are interested in watching my video for my sensitivity, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click on that bell as uh, I think a few of my subscribers haven't been receiving the notification for whenever videos go up. So again, everyone who's watching right now, Everyone who's watching right now, I, I, I see you, I see you, I see you right now. I see you on your phone, I see you on your computer. Go ahead and go to the channel and click on that little bell and make it to where you get notifications 100% every time I upload videos. Because I have a lot of YouTube videos coming soon for Call of Duty Mobile. Very excited about this game and I am super stoked for what's to come and I want to, you know, I want to make some killer content for you guys. So next video will be my sensitivity video and uh, this right here is my settings video so hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching if you haven't done so hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more call of duty mobile gameplays and tips and tricks 
and comment down below as well how you feel about the game um, whether you like it you don't like it what's the reason for either or and if you think that you'll be playing this game in the long run or if you think it is just gonna slowly die off me personally we're going all the way baby all the way all the way this game I have faith in this game I have faith on the developers I have faith on the scene that will, will come for competitive and I'm hoping the best for this game so hope you guys enjoy the video and I have some gameplay for you guys is it a double new gameplay I don't know we'll see peace out guys Capture the objectives. Enemy taking Charlie. We're capturing Alpha. We're capturing A. Enemy has C. Target down. We lost the lead. We're capturing B. Standing by. Repeat. Push too far. Recon is standing by. I was gonna just start to respond. Capturing Bravo. We're capturing Alpha. Oh, we never captured anything. Target down. Predator missile on standby. We captured A. Target down. Sniper. Oh crap. Cover me. Reloading. Sniper eliminated. Target down. I died, choked on the... I had 17 kills, bro. You good, Scott? Friendly Predator missile inbound. Enemy down! Friendly Hunter-Killer drone deployed. UAV online. Or just imagine the of the uh the veto. That's all it does. Reloading. Oh, we're hooking spawn bang. We're losing this fight. Losing A. Frag! Reloading. Spawning. Oh. oh, he just killed you, bro. Yeah. Dude, there's like a glitch where like I click it. Sniper eliminated. I was on a shot. Cover me, reloading. Two times I killed That's a killer drone. I died as well. I died at 17 kills. Lost that round, but Yeah, I died at 17 kills, bro. I literally ran that whole map. I can't find anybody to kill. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> we're, we're killing everybody. <laughs> we're killing everybody. We're capturing C. I have a nuke. I have a nuke. Sure you do. Sure you do. Do it right now. Right, right, I got you. I got you. Got you. Got you. There you go. Nope. There you go, brother. I'm getting a second one right now too. I promise. I'm getting a second right now, dude.
Don't push too far into uh Stay back, literally, right here. In this, in this corner. Target down! Yeah, camp it now. Capturing B. Target down! Target down! Get up, team. Sniper down! Bro, this is like the perfect spot right here in the corner. Yeah, we like. You have one too? I'm out of ammo. This is my second one right here, dude. Another one, bro. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> that's, my, that's a double nuke for me. Hold on. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm just gonna back up. Oh my gosh, dude. Is that mine? Oh yeah, it is mine. Bro! That's the end, bro. Highly doubt he met again. When's never gonna level up the way you guys are playing? He's <laughs> just <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, bro, I'm, yeah, bro, I'm trying to play some rank. That's why. Obliteration right there. That's deletion.